Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, representing Analytics Course, and I want to talk about demographics in Google Analytics. And the reason why I want to talk about this now is because there's some confusion about how this should be set up. Now, this is one of the coolest reports in Google Analytics, if you can get it to work, but lately some people have been having some problems with getting it to work. And so Analytics Course students are asking me questions, and I want to provide answers. And so in this video, we are going to explore how demographics work in Google Analytics, the code you need to put on your site, and some other things you need to adjust in order to make sure this works for you. We're going to do some troubleshooting and hopefully come up with a good solution for you. So listen up if you want to learn about demographics in Google Analytics. Let's talk about Google Analytics demographics reports. Google Analytics helps you answer the question, who is visiting your site? But you need to do some configuration to answer the question, what are their demographics? And you can answer this question inside of Google Analytics. And when you do have their demographics reports in place, you can see age, gender of your visitors. You can see some really nice details. This is just a graph of the details. And then you can drill down and you can actually do segmentation based on demographics. Here we're looking at all the core stats for different age groups that people are visiting this website we're looking at. Here's another one where we do conversion rates by gender. And you can even get into the point where you look at things like their in-market segments. What are people in the market to purchase? That's pretty cool because you can see where the motivated buyers are if they're coming to your site. And then you can see if they're actually buying what you have to buy. Now these are pretty general categories, but if you're doing massive display campaigns or campaigns based on certain demographics, ages and genders, it can work out really well for you or it can be an enhancement to your existing campaigns or it can be a filter to your existing campaigns. And so this can work out really well for you. And these are nice enhancements to your Google Analytics data. I would say that they're definitely nice to have. They're like toppings on ice cream. Having that data available is nice. It makes your existing analytics data even better when it works because it doesn't always work and sometimes it's not clear as to why it doesn't work. And Denise, who's an analytics course student asks, I've been having a problem for a while now. I've had Google Analytics up and running for over two years, and I have all the data that we talked about except for demographics. I've tried everything I can think of as a beginner, clicked on the link GA provided, and made the changes that Google Analytics suggested. Just today, I found out the alert suggested that I turn on advertising features and see if this works. This data is critical to my business. Do you have any ideas on how to get it going? And Denise and I worked through, and we troubleshooted the Google Analytics demographics reports by following these steps. Now, traditionally, to get demographics to work, you need to do the following steps. At the very least, you need to enable demographics in the Google Analytics interface. And if you're at your web property settings, you can see there's a button that says, turn this on, turn this off. And if you have this turned on, Google makes it sound like everything should just be perfect. But that's not always the case. And so if you click on the learn more button there, what you can see is Google tells you how it works. And I'm linking to this in our YouTube notes and on the blog post that accompanies this post. They basically say that in order to enable remarketing and advertising reporting and demographics by nature, you just click on that button and you're good to go. So if you were to scroll down on that article, you would see that. And that's what most people do because that's what Google tells them. That's what the documentation says. And yet from my experience, it doesn't work just clicking that button. It doesn't work at all. And so I try to get a straight answer. Maybe after seeing this video, Google will give us a straight answer. But I always recommend that people take a step two, which I'm going to call optional because Google says that it's optional or an alternative. But you need to adjust the code on your site in order to include display features. And you can see this highlighted area here, GA require display features. That is what you need to do in order to collect the right data for your Google Analytics account. And you can actually do this in Google Tag Manager. And this is something that I do automatically every time I run Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager is to enable display advertising features. And ever since I did this, I have gotten proper demographics in my account. And honestly, I don't really try doing it without this true setting because I don't want to lose my demographics. But that's always been something that I've done in order to make sure that I get demographics. And that seems to be the difference between following Google's instructions and doing what I do in the account where I can show you the demographics. It always happens because we have display advertising features enabled through Google Tag Manager. But if you're doing it through the code added onto your site, then you're going to want to have the display feature setting. And that should work. That's worked for me. And when I look at my analytics account versus ones that are not successful, that's the only difference I can notice is that we are enabling display features. And step three, update your privacy policy to make sure that you are compliant. 
And I would recommend that you read this documentation here, and then you read even more of Google's documentation because there's a lot of it about how these things work. And each country has different rules, different regulations, and you wanna make sure you're familiar with how it works in your area. And so my question is, is this all that it takes? Because Denise couldn't get it to work even though she followed Google's instructions, I'm able to get it to work and it's only that minimal change, which Google says is alternative. It says that it's not even a real change. What the heck is going on here? Well, we're in a weird place right now. Google's documentation says you just need to click on a single button, and yet my experience says that it's not that easy. And I don't think that it's gonna get any easier than this in a post GDPR world. And so my recommendation as always is to play it safe with data collection. It's better to overdo it than to do the bare minimum. It's better to have redundancy so you don't lose the reports that are really important to you. And even when Google makes a recommendation, sometimes their documentation is out of date or they're dealing with bigger changes than us getting our demographics data. They're dealing with really big changes to the overall data privacy rules in an entire section of the world. And so maybe they haven't had time to update the documentation because they don't know what the answer is going to be. And so play it safe with data collection. Make sure you're very explicit with the data you collect and make sure you follow the rules in your jurisdiction. So my question back to you is, are your demographics working and do you have display features enabled or are you doing just the click of a button and is it working? Because I've found that clicking that button, even though that's all that Google tells you you need to do, doesn't work. It hasn't worked for me and doesn't seem like it's working for others as well. So I'd love to hear in your comments to see if we can get a consensus here. What does it take to get demographics to work in Google Analytics? And I really look forward to seeing your comment on our YouTube video or on our blog post that accompanies this video.